Sky, you're sure this is the location I got from the mayor? Mayor? If this is Tasseltown, it's sure seen better days. It was destroyed centuries ago. Who said that? Oh, hey, Holly. You again. What are you doing here, anyway? Um, I don't want to... Okay, I can snort. <laughs> she probably didn't quite snort that way, though. My job. Everyone back in Scuttletown has lost their memories. Obviously, which is why the mayor sent me here to check it out. I am the town genie, after all. Maybe if we work together, we could... How sad. If you want your job back so badly, why don't you go cry to the mayor? I can't. He's forgotten everything, too. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Then do us all a favor. Take your airheaded friend and go back to being a has-been. Hmm. She's up to something, and I'm going to find out what. Sky, you stay here while I have a look around. I don't have nearly enough estrogen to imitate Holly's voice well. Let's go. Or Shantae's for that matter. But you can't fault a guy for trying. Oh, I remember these cactus people. Didn't like them then, don't like them now. Oh well. I suppose they've uh, left that island where they used to live. What was it called? I don't remember. Hold on, do I? Yeah, I have enough stuff. Well, we're fine. Oh, hold on, I never gave that woman the monster egg. Oh, well, that's fine. They're not exactly rare, after all. Wait, hold on, what's that thing? Well, whatever it is, I'm not letting it get away. There we go. That was not worth the damage I took, though. Uh, yes. I can't believe I'm already using a potion. But you do what you, you know, you do what you have to. Like, sometimes you gotta choose your battles. When you get down to it, how many of these enemies I've been taking out are really worth the effort? Probably some of them. But actually, clearly Shantae's very good at killing things with her hair. I mean, that is why she's a guardian genie hacker. You know, I think it's interesting to note, uh, just how much... Also, this is certainly not the desert town that I was thinking it was, the, you know, the one that might was from the first game. I mean, clearly this is not it. This isn't a desert town at all, this is a ruins. I mean, it's possible that that city isn't doing so well anymore. Oh, Shantae, you're having fun saying transform, aren't you? See? Yeah, see, she answered that she was. Well... Guess it's time for a crab dance. I'm not gonna get too crabby about it. See, another one of these things, huh? Like, like, look at... Whoa, whoa! Yeah. I remember those one-eyed fish. They're a lot more active these days than they used to be, though, aren't they? They're also a lot less horrifying. But that, then again, might just be because I know what to expect now. At first, I wasn't sure about this artwork where it's like two-dimensional animation on 3D backgrounds. But I think it works. It's definitely, it's grown on me. And you definitely do get enough healing items as long as you don't go and get, uh, killed doing stupid stuff. Oh, these giant centipede guys. They were from, uh, it's been a while. They were in the first one, too, I think. Okay, I, that was my fault. That was my bad. Well, it's just because everything's trying to kill me, though, you know? If everything just stopped trying to kill me for a second, but no, of course it's not. Everything just, I mean, and you know, what are, are these just a bunch of random animals? A random animal just trying to kill Shantae? I mean, surely not. Surely animals in this magical setting could sense that Shantae is only the best of intentions. Because they're magical animals in tune with nature, and we all know nature is always good. Yep. Never mind that uh, nature is also, you know, does things like, say, cause sandstorms and is, you know, consistently try and destroy all of mankind's creations, like, all the time. Nature is pretty good at doing that kind of stuff. Whoa! Hey. Excuse me. 
This is not good weather, and Shantae is really not dressed for it. She should be wearing some kind of full body, like... Not sure what she'd call it, but... Not not the way she's dressed now, that much is for sure. Anyway, we, we can't go by land, you know? What is it, one if by land, two if by sea? That has something to do with this, right? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Nope. How are we gonna get across this? Well, we're gonna do what we have to do. I can't use magic underwater. How sad. Although I'm already jumping further than I thought I could. Taking advantage of the unique properties of being underwater. So what are what are these? I guess they're some kind of living plant, aren't they? It's a good thing we're behind this rock. It shielded her from the wind. Unfortunately, though, this cactus down there is kind of blocking our safe to walk on route. You know, he's a kind of he's a bit of a prickly personality, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I wonder if there's some way to smash this structure beneath Shantae. One way to find out! Okay, so I can't do the rapidly falling thing unless I'm underwater. I see now. I savvy. I want to note that um, this art style of this game has definitely corrected a major flaw with all of the previous Shantae titles art. You see, her eyes are no longer or like the whites of her eyes are no longer drawn as being blue. They always were in the previous ones, and that kind of was weird. I mean, they still are when she's a monkey, but who knows what's up with monkeys, you know? They're, they're weird. They can do what they want. They're monkeys. I mean, I don't know. Are you a monkey? What color should monkeys' eyes be? Do you know? Probably not, because you're not a monkey. No offense to anyone with blue sclerae. At the time, I had never heard of osteogenesis imperfecta, or any of the other conditions that might lead to blue sclerae. But now I know, and that's half the battle. I also have noticed Shantae beating a lot fewer creatures down to their skeletons this time around. Whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, I suppose, is a matter of temperament. Oh, this is bad because Shantae might uh, get blown in the quicksand if we're not fast. But we were fast, so is A-OK. -okay. Now, it's possible that there's some kind of hidden passage in the quicksand. There's some video games that do that kind of thing. Like, didn't Super Mario Bros. 2 do that? Or... I think it did. OK, now we're going to jump up there and get that pop. Inside will be something. Oh, we can move this. Oh. Well, as soon as it was out of the way, we were sort of blown off our the path we've been taking, but... Wait, how is the wind getting through it? I don't know either. I don't like that it's getting through it, though, and I would prefer that it wasn't doing that. I mean, maybe you would prefer that it was doing that because you're some kind of sadist who wants to see me suffer and squirm. But why? That's just mean. Don't be mean. Imagine if, if everybody were always nice all the time wouldn't the world be such a better place? Okay, now the worst case scenario has come to pass, but not really, because Shantae's fine. She's pretty persistent. And you know, I really admire, she lives in this war-torn world where pirate attacks are a daily, all-too-real possibility. And yet, even in the midst of this, she retains, you know, she's so optimistic. Yeah, we can't move this one. Now, I think it's interesting that centipedes have evolved to be giant, one-eyed creatures. The issue with that is that, I mean, pretty sure, you know, it's like square cube law. They have to be a certain size or, like, their bodies don't function properly anymore. The reason bugs aren't bigger is because there's just not enough oxygen in the atmosphere to, to sustain them at a, you know, a larger size. Oh, finally, a portal out of this deserted hellhole. Okay, I'll get, I'll get up there. Just a second. Yep, you done? Yeah, it's done. I feel like it reminds me of some enemy from Kirby. There are a lot of been a, a lot of spiky Kirby enemies over the years. I'm afraid as soon as I jump up there, this, the wind will begin blowing. Oh well. Nah, not oh well. I'm not going to take that risk for you. But, well, before I go into the genie realm, though, I'm going to see what else is over here. Okay, more of the same. Fine. Well, let's see what the uh, genie realm offers these days. Do you suppose these centipedes are in some way related to those like snapping jaw enemies? Maybe. 
There's still sandstorms in the genie realm, really? There's not even any sand there that I see. But you know, fine, whatever. You can't control the weather, as they say. No one says that, although it's true. Unless you're a mad scientist constructing some kind of weather controlling machine. Anyway, I wonder what's going on here. Personally, I don't suspect Holly is up to something nefarious. I suspect she's just cocky and overconfident. I don't know what's going on here, though. She, is, she certainly could stand to be more of a team player. In any case, you know, the, Shantae, the series, is very colorful and, like, goofy, and that's really kind of pleasant. Like, you don't need, like, not everything needs to have an attempt at being serious all the time. It's perfectly okay to, you know, just be openly goofy and colorful and fun and cute. In video games, as in all other mediums, I say vive la de France. I don't really know how you say because it it's French, so it might as well be... What? Some alien language? I was gonna... Put... Oh! Well, it looks like this thing has actually eaten a lot of humans, judging by all those bones. So, let's not... Uh, come on. Of all the places for these fire-breathing statues to make a reappearance, it had to be now. It had to be now, of all times. You guys have clearly already been eaten, so I'm gonna let you get eaten again. You know, don't mind me. Yeah, you see, Shantae, so we can eat the- Oh, crap! No, Shantae, Shantae, transform right now! And let's not get eaten by the giant Cyclops centipede. By the Cyclopsipede. Cyclopsipede makes it sound kind of goofy and whimsical instead of deadly and dangerous, you know? Instead of, like, what it is. Shoot! Shoot! Shantae! Yo, sh okay! Shante is stared death in the face. And lived to, to talk about it, I, I suppose. Or, I mean... Well, I mean, this is hardly the, you know... Shante, get off the wall! Shante, Shante, why don't you get off the wall faster, Shante? Imagine all the trouble we could have avoided if you just had climbed a little more, a little more quickly. Sh oh, sh crap, the undead skeletons still can climb. Why am I calling them undead skeletons? Isn't that redundant? Don't say it in that dopey way, Shantae. This is no time to be dopey. Your life is on the line right now, kid. Ugh. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just keep, keep climbing. Never mind all the potential loot and treasure and crap there could be in here. We have more important things to worry about. And we can run faster as a monkey and jump faster and climb walls, so that's why I'm turning into a monkey. Really, you guys gotta climb here like this? You guys gotta be bad sports? You know, Shantae, this would be a great time to call on Sky to, like, give us a lift out of here. But I can't do that, can I? Because game mechanics. Am I right? Game mechanics, am I right? We've all been there. Okay. Okay. This has got to be almost a way out. I mean, this is a giant centipede that can eat rocks. And in my estimation, at least, that doesn't rock so much. How the heck tall is this tower? It just keeps on going and going. Oh, we can't get through there. We can't get through there. No! No! Well, Shantae... It so ended her journey. Not a single checkpoint, huh? That's old school difficult. Okay, we're further... Or no, this is about where we screwed up last time. So we need to take the path to the, to the left rather than the right. Which is a lot easier said than done. And we're going to be so out of health by the time we get up there. But if that happens, we can just uh, go back to Scuttletown, buy some potion, and then... There we go. We could have kept going. But if yeah, but anyway, if that happens, we can just get some potions and then teleport back to the other side of the centipede tower. No, we can't go back in. I guess the entire tower is taken up by that centipede now. Yeah, see these little pincer things? You think there's some relation? Probably. 
They're probably like Gomas from the Zelda series, you know? Probably. I mean, if we're being honest here. Not even once. See, Shantae, that's her. That's the attitude. That's the spirit. She's got Moxie. You know who else has Moxie? Probably somebody. There are a lot of spirited people. Now and throughout history, there have been. I like that that one block is not sliding in and out of the walls. Kind of makes you wonder, though, why are any of these blocks sliding in and out of the walls? Like, how does... How in the world does that work, you think? Some things are best done as a monkey. And those are words to live by. It could save your life someday. I tell you, I tell you, my grandpa always said, You know, there's some things you should do as a monkey. And that's important to keep in mind. And this is just one of the many times that advice has come in handy. Some other things you should do as a monkey include being a monkey. So if you ever find yourself needing to be a monkey, why not become a monkey? See, that would... We would have been doomed. You know, it's another one of these... Holy crap! Did you see how many bones there were in that woman's body? Okay, so there's still these tribal desert women with bright pink skin. I'm not sure why they're in the desert, though. How does that work? So I want to make sure I understand how this works. So we can shoot forward like a bullet. No, we have to be clinging to something to do it. I see. Now, if we are, can we just stop it at any point? Because I'm think wondering if it's possible to get that loot down there. So, let's try and try this again. A little experiment. A little, a little... Concern and experiment. How'd I get on this the first... There we go. No, it looks like you, you keep going until you hit something. This is not what I meant to do. Crabs aren't known for their prowess and platforming. Yeah, but you see, this kind of challenge, this is the sort of stuff I expect from Shantae. Because for all their color and fun, they aren't the easiest things in the world. This isn't Kirby. She can't just puff up and float along through the sky like a big balloon. Like a pain pain balloon, as Coach D once said. God. Now, Kochi admittedly said Pam Pam Balloon of something that wasn't this. Like a pom pom of a balloon shaped like the character Pom Pom. I suppose he calls Shantae a Shantae Balloon! It doesn't quite have the same ring to it as Pam Pam Balloon, does it? Most of you probably don't even have any idea what I'm talking about. Back in the day, one of the great, like, online things was Homestar Runner. I mean, it still is pretty great, but. And they don't update so often anymore. Now it's maybe once or twice a year instead of weekly. Which is a real tragedy, because they're great. Wow, Shantae, you are a daredevil, I tell you what. It's a shame she doesn't still have Risky's hat, or she could just sort of balloon down to the ground and it'd be safe. Really, though, why is there, like, purple smoke? What I really hate is that little door there is probably not a checkpoint, which makes you wonder why it's even there at all. Shantae is pretty tough, though, taking arrows to the face and beating monsters down to their skulls. But then again, that really doesn't seem like a monster. It seems like a woman. Huh. Here's some magic for you. It must be, um, I suppose that whoever built this worshipped in some way the one-eyed arthropods of the region. Or at least had deities that were based off of them. Many, uh, you know, religions, after all, take animals common to the area and incorporate them in some way. Uh-oh. And they're already back. That's the magic of the old world for you. You know, maybe it's in the same continuity as near, so it's like... Uh oh That was my bad. I, I didn't get there fast enough. Okay, could you quit it? Sheesh. I know this is not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. This isn't like Super Mario Brothers, where there's secrets you can get by going off the screen, you know? Not like that at all. 
Okay. Jump. Jump. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh no! No! Even if that was a checkpoint, it doesn't matter because it's all over. <sighs> okay. Did not get the loot that time either. Wait, what the heck? Roast. I'm going to hope that the roast is some food these warrior women were carrying with them, rather than it's, say, a roasted chunk of their legs or something. See? She actually dodged those arrows for once. And so human bones rain down over the desert. It's like something out of a horror movie. Actually, though, I hope this is not in the same continuity as Nier. That would mean that Shantae and all these other people are totally screwed. No, it's more likely in the same continuity as some other thing. Whatever it is, it's something that has to do with, you know, being after the fall of our civilization. Judging by the fact that stuff from our world is considered stuff from the old world. Although clearly, it's, to some extent, um, old technology remains preserved. Like, they earlier in this one alone, they, you know, talked about a shipment of hard drives, so, you know, there's still people using computers and that kind of thing. They're just not in wide use, which I think is perfectly believable. Oh, it's that snake lady! How can we get over there? Um, I, I mean, I know how. I don't want to do it. Oh, I was just cheap. That's why they posted themselves there, though, because they knew. Yeah, if I were on that lower block there and clinging to its uh, left side as a monkey, I'd be able to jettison myself like a monkey bullet into the uh, into that snake lady's pot. I'm not going to do that. Some things just aren't worth the, aren't worth the trouble. Going to shoot? Yes, she's going to shoot. She's going to keep shooting in a very regular pattern. That's the thing about these archer women is they're very good at um you know shooting in predictable patterns. No! That was carelessness. That was totally my fault. That was absolutely all mackerel phones. All mackerel phones fault. Pure mackerel phones mistakes. Classic mackerel phone mistakes. Who doesn't like the classic? Oh. I am such a pathetic loser. Oh my god. Shantae. Well, I mean, the issue is that she's not, like, dying over and over. She's getting through all this in one go. That's the thing about these platformer protagonists, is they're very athletic and very lucky. Now, you could make the case that they're unlucky because they keep having to do all these crazy platforming challenges, and that's a perfectly reasonable uh, stance to have. But I rather prefer to think that they're lucky because they, um, get through them. It's kind of like the classic question of, you know, you're gonna drop bomb? You're gonna drop that bomb? Yeah. He's gonna drop that bomb. Who sent them here? I mean, it's obviously some bad guy. I don't really know who lives out in this desert, though. Okay, this woman obviously is too dangerous to be allowed to live. Hey. Why doesn't... Another one already? Okay, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I can't get to her... Through, through ordinary... Okay, we're not going to get to her through any means, are we? Nope. No, we're not. So here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to jump up on this upper platform. As dangerous as it is, and kill her. And so she's dead, but we ate... But Shantae ate her heart. That's pretty violent, Shantae, I'm not going to lie. Life is horrible! It's just... It's terrible! Every... I bet you were going to be able to resist that wind later on and that genie door we, you know, we couldn't get through. It's going to lead to somewhere that'll like... It'll just be like to the other side of the level where we're trying to get to. It'll be just like that. Alright, well. Yeah, I'll take some of those. I'll take some more. Um, what else we have here? Um... 
Well, I think we need a stronger attack. I, I think it's already plenty fast. Now, should we um, get bikini armor? I think that this would also be a good investment. Truthfully, you know, a full body armor might be even better, but it wouldn't really suit Shantae's uh, wardrobe, would it? It's not quite her style. Now that we're back in town, though, where's that tall woman? Hey, you want a monster egg, right? Oh! Is that monster egg for me? Yeah. Nice! A fortress is built one brick at a time. So it is with your body. Never forget it. Here, a reward for your efforts. This is the greatest thing you could have given me. I have no need of that. I suppose because you don't have a health bar displayed in the upper left. I can feel the raw power of the monster egg flowing within. Okay. And the whole town is in a very bad state right now. Even the save guy is probably forgetting all the chronicles of Shantae's adventures he's gathered over the years. Oh, just don't stop dancing! Well, anyway, um... Come to think of it, why does Sky's hatchery have an arrow sign? Kind of odd, isn't it? And I see she made that hole in the roof just by having the tower on the roof broken. I'm glad she's still smiling, even if she's kind of in a dazed state right now. I mean, what's happening to Scuttletown is pretty scary. It could be the plot of a horror movie. Shantae doesn't strike me as the type who'd be into horror films, though. But that's just me. Back to Tasseltown, I guess. It's odd how wiggly that tower looks on the map. Probably because of the giant centipedes inside it, you know? That's probably why. That's a great new catchphrase you're working on, Shantae. We'll see whether it catches on. I half expect it will, half expect it won't. It could go either way. Wait, what am I doing this for? I should just teleport to the next area. Yeah, so I'm going to. You're right, Shantae, it is. That's what we call calling your attacks. It's gonna come up again, right? Yeah, I thought so. This thing has killed a lot of people. Kinda like Shantae. Solid ground again, I mean, kind of. Truthfully, n none of us are on solid ground, because the Earth we're on is, in fact, nothing but, um, you know, a thin crust of rock floating over magma. Alright, roast. You know, earlier, Holly was just savage when she roasted Shantae. I meant to say that at the time, but I didn't. I'm sorry. We're gonna take out first. We gotta take out all of the all of these uh, archer women. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to say they could beat the Gerudo, but the Gerudo have never been known for their archers, more for their swordswomen. Jump! As soon as they begin wiggling, I have to jump. How does this even work? Is this a machine that was built by somebody? I mean, there are no, like, scuttlebats here to explain how this is happening. Like, I don't see any scuttlebats ramming a wall with a... with a log alternately knocking bricks in and out of it, do you? I sure don't. Alright, back inside. Oh, thank goodness it's the save man. Save man, you won't believe what I've been through. Stop right there, Holly Lingerbean! Get lost, you! Can't you see I'm busy? I don't know how everyone back in Scuttletown lost their memories, but I'm guessing you're behind it all! 
duh! The last thing I'd want is your dumb genie job. Oh, well, Shantae, you were, you were right. So it was you! And she snorts. Okay, I'll level with you. You see, I'm not really a half-genie at all. Okay, then. What exactly are you? I'm a memory. A memory of the most important person of all time. What? No way. A memory can't be a real person. Oh, please. When you're a true legend like I am, you can be anything you want. A long time ago, I was Tasseltown's smartest, most beautiful, brightest star. I was summa cum laude, homecoming queen, and Miss Tasseltown three years running. Okay. I was adored and celebrated with tributes, paintings, statues, and books. All about me! <sighs> Sometimes even I don't know how I got to be so amazing. Bit of an ego. But then the stupid town was destroyed by a stupid sandstorm that lasted for hundreds of years. So lame! The memory of me was almost lost! <sighs> Fortunately, I ran into Wilbur. Wilbur! Here, boy! Num num time. Well, that doesn't sound good for us. Oh. Whoa! It's that enormous worm again! Wilbur is a rare species of titanic kilopoda that feeds on neurotransmissions! Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I realized that in order to remain the strongest memory, I simply needed to eliminate all other memories by feeding them to him. So long to your friends, they're about to become worm food. Go on, eat! No! You're a monster! Oh well. Since I can't seem to penetrate your dumb genie brain, I'll have to resort to something a lot more... messy. Wilbur! Smasher! This got pretty surreal pretty fast. Destroy the worm. Good advice, Shantae. Okay, so is this gonna, like, shoot something? Oh, I see what we can do. Did that work? Do we... Do we kill it? Probably not. No, wait, no, it's just shooting off its... Yeah, really, you think that's a good idea, do you? I don't... So it's not going to fall into any of the... To, uh, any of the cannons? Now, Shantae, let me tell you something about this eye, okay, Shantae? Oh, I see. <clears throat> it's pretty hard to hit that eye, I have to admit. So it's a good thing I had that magic. I don't know I could have whipped it in time. I have to say, it's rather horrifying to know that eye can be detached. Like, that's not thats not how this these are supposed to work, you know? And I see why they get covered up by bars when we get near it, otherwise we might tumble in ourselves. We don't want that to happen, do we? Oh crap though, the cannonball is all the way over here. Or it's not a cannonball, it's some kind of molten rock. Crap. Well, we missed our chance on that one. But Wilbur, I mean clearly Wilbur also eats meat since he was trying to just eat Shantae's whole body earlier. Truthfully, what it's doing now is a lot less dangerous than when it was just trying to eat her, if I may say so. I mean, perhaps from a story perspective, it's a lot more dangerous. And now its eye's gonna pop out again, right? It's not really a centipede. I forget what this class of organism is that I think it is. But there's like, um, you know, like the bobbit worm is part of this group of worms. The bobbit worm is a deep sea worm that, um, it's not that deep sea, but it lives on like the seabed. And it, um, they eat, uh, basically just whatever happens by. And they sort of build, they'll dig little pits kind of like an ant lion, and they'll begin trying to reach out meat stuff. 
I'm aware of none of them that specifically feed on neural electricity, though. I'm kind of wondering how Holly even was able to say, harvest neural electricity from the townsfolk. That strikes me as something that would be exceedingly complicated. You'd probably need some kind of elaborate machine to do it, I would expect. Oh darn, a moment too long? Once again, restores a lot. A good amount, I'll eat another monster egg then. Yeah, you know, Shantae, I think the monsters you've fought have over the years gotten a lot taller. In the original ones, some of them were not very tall at all. But that's actually true of a lot of video game characters. It's a bit an overall trend, I think, for video game monsters to get to get taller. I'm not quite sure why. Darn two fire two like molten rocks in a row we didn't send into the cannon. That is not good, guys. We need to get as ma like this thing. We want this worm to be dead as soon as possible before it digests everyone's like souls. Because what is what, you know what we are defined by our memories after all. And so if our memories are taken from us, I mean that's so much of of who we are. Our personality and our memories are closely interlocked. And for this inhuman creature, in her extreme vanity, to like presume to you know control people's memories. I mean I don't understand entirely how she's immortal. Like, how she lived for hundreds of years. I mean, I'm sure she's done it some way. I mean, obviously, because she has. Or so she claims. I don't know why we should believe her. I mean, I guess we will. I don't see why not. She's just a deceitful, lying monster who eats people's memories with the help of a giant worm that's also been alive for hundreds of years. Which is odd. Most arthropods don't live very long. Although some do, you know, like a lobster, for example. The thing about lobsters that makes them rather impressive is, you know, that, like, they don't age. Like, they get older, but they don't, like, begin getting old. They only continue growing and getting stronger until they... something kills them. Oh, but something killed this one. Us! I know it was just an animal following its instincts, but it doesn't change the fact that it was used as a tool of evil. You fool! Look what you've done! All those memories! They're free now, as they should be. But every memory should be of me! Me! Well, I'm sure some of them are. They just can't all be. How dare you say that! I'm unforgettable! I'll show you! Ah, what a pain in the rear. Rather macabre way to talk about somebody who just died in front of your eyes. Though she was basically another monster, so hardly worth considering. It just goes to show how anyone can fall to the force of arrogance. I do kind of wonder, though. So far, every stage in this one has basically been disconnected. There hasn't been an overarching narrative which is quite odd. Normally, there is in Shantae. I mean, I'm sure something's going to happen. There's gotta be some connecting narrative here. Although it could be episodic. Ah, yes. I appreciate this, oh, mysterious voice. About darn time. They say to use this power to dash away obstacles, huh? I can get behind that. So, um... This is what I expected, Ashante. Yeah, she keeps her jewelry even when she's in this form, but not her clothing. It makes... You know, it makes you wonder if that top and those trousers are somehow, like... I don't know. Magically part of her body? You know, she lost her vest. I wonder what she... You know, I mean, that's fine, you know. Everyone's back to normal. So Holly was behind all this. I suspected she was a memory vampire all along. Hmm. Poor oh, Holly. All that time and she never understood. Our true legacy isn't what's written in the history books, but on the hearts of those whose lives we've touched. 
Well said, softy. I'm not soft. I just have one foot in the grave, that's all. I still don't know how I'm going to explain all this to the mayor. Nah, he'll probably forget all about it. Come on, we should make sure everyone's okay. Well now, with that behind us, I can finally get back to work. Now where was I? Right, according to the blueprint, I need opposing shards to create a balance of positive and negative energy above the magnetic poles. Shards? As in dark magic and light magic? The instructions are explicit. Hmm, I don't like the idea of messing around with dark magic, Uncle. When kept in proper balance, dark and light magic shouldn't pose a threat. But just in case, we'll be extra cautious. Okay? I guess so, Uncle. Now, where am I supposed to find a dark shard? Um... Risky Boots might know something about that. You know, I noticed they still never gave a proper repair to the uh, ceiling, where Risky smashed through it with their anchor. I think they would have fixed that by now. Anyway. Hey, you wouldn't happen- hey, uh, dancing girl, you wouldn't happen to have seen something about, uh, you know, shards, would you? Gators? They're the only creatures that- they're the only creatures li- no, the only creatures like that work for the Techno Baron, okay. The Desert Eagles are known to drop monster eggs, but Nagas drop them more frequently. Huh. Okay. A powerful relic was dropped in the sea near Main Street. What was it? There's a zombie standing over there. Grotty Tops? Oh yeah, she knows about dark magic, doesn't she? Search behind the eastmost wall of the factory. That is a super video gamey tip. That could be right out of the adventure of Link. There's an old woman who lives in the caverns beneath the factory. I hear she often buys extra race tickets for her grandchildren. Alright, magic jam lady. Cape Crustacean has the magic carpet races. Tickets can be hard to find. I know Roddy Tops is right there, but I still want to look around and see. Oh, it's those girls who work for the Ammo Bear. Use flame magic to cook monsters. Maybe they'll drop some meat. I suppose that will increase the probability of meat being dropped, huh? Well, I have so many people to talk to. The Ammo Baron girls, whose young white skin was enough to, like, emit bright light. Talk to them first. Yo! Hey, girlfriend! Oh, that's their names? You're Ammo Baron soldiers. Don't worry. We're not here to cause trouble. We're on R&R. &R. Anytime we're assigned a new location, we make it a point to sample the local flavors before things get ugly. We heard the food here was to die for. I think there's a restaurant over on Main Street, but it's kinda on fire. No, no, no. Not that foo fooey stuff. We're here to try the gator steaks. We heard there's some kind of reptile lurking in the dark caverns of Mermaid Falls. Two gator steaks served well done would be perfect. Make sure they're seared to perfection. Use a high flame to lock in all those juices. Yum! Pull this off and we'll give you our extra race ticket. You guys are being awfully presumptuous assuming that Shantae's just going to, you know, get your food for you. But she is, so you're right. Hey, Roddy Tops, how things going? No, not you. Hey, Snack Cakes, what's up? Don't call me that. Okay. So, listen, I've always wanted to go to the big race with my brothers, but those two are dead broke. Big race? The raceway at Cape Crustacean. Bring me two tickets to the big race, and in return, I'll give you something nice. Roddy... Why do you have to be so difficult? Wait, hold on, I thought zombies couldn't be out in direct sunlight. Well, I don't know. In any case, you know, for a dead girl, her skin is as shiny as Shantae's. What are we else do we gotta do? We have all these race tickets we need to get. Oh, man. Hi. Yeah, hi. So, 
So I'm gonna take a, a fireball. Uh, I'll take this too. I won't go for the flamethrower though. Of course, it won't really be a flamethrower, it's just called that, you know? So, um, yeah, it'll take a while, Uncle, to get these dark magic, but it'll probably happen. I assume the reason that Roddy Tops is interested in the race is because she was, uh, interested in foot races back in the original Shantae. Shantae has to beat her in a number of foot races. Wacky stuff. I suppose that there's not going to be any sequence in this one where they all end up in, like, skimpy slave girl outfits, though. Just probably, is my guess. So there is some Metroidvania here, you know, because we're still kind of going back to levels we went to before. I suppose it isn't much different from having, say, a warp system to take us between areas. Yeah, we can't go back to that screen where we had the com conversation with Bolo. That's fine, I'm fine with that. How do we switch between the magic we're using? I see, it's R1. Yeah, the Nagas are definitely more well-armored nowadays. But it's still rather horrific to, you know, kill them and remove the egg from their ovaries and eat it. I mean, that's what's going on, basically. I mean, don't get me wrong, people always, you know, have long eaten, like, uh, sex cells of different animals. I mean, I've heard that, uh, say, you know, cod... Well, of course, people eat cod eggs, but I've heard that cod sperm is a pretty, uh, you know, pretty tasty stuff, too. At least, it can be. I don't know, I've never eaten it. So, I'm really not the guy you should ask about that sort of thing. What are they shooting those balls from, anyway? They're like, it they're, doesn't look like they're carrying some, any kind of weapons. Now, if I remember, there was... Yes, this is just what I was looking for. Finally. Oh, we do turn into a mermaid in this one. This is by far has the most dances of any of the Shantae games. It looks like there aren't just eight. No, there are eight plus an additional four, which is 12. See, I know how to do math, guys. Yep, now Shantae's an adorable mermaid girl. She even has, there's like chopsticks in her bun. I guess so. Flop, 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 I am fish. Wait, where are we? There's no map of the levels in this one, I think. Is there? No, I don't think there is. Ah, well. Okay, now we just need to get up there and smash those blocks with our newfound elephant powers. How hard could it be? I'm sure it could be pretty hard, actually. Hey. Hey. So, um... Naga, you, you done yet? I'm just attacking the same way you would attack me, with projectile magic. Now, I understand what I should be going for are the gators. Okay, you know what? This is obviously not working. I mean, I'm sure it would have worked someday, but not yet. Yeah, you know, if these creeps want to work for the Techno Baron, I suppose they have every right to. Wrong one. Here we go. Gator Steak. It's rather horrifying since they're like sentient animals, you know? Actually, hold on. It's time to go all mermaid. Yeah, Shantae's definitely topless in this one. I thought, if I remember right, in Risky's Revenge, when she was the mermaid, she wore a little, like, sparkle bra thing. Sparkle, sparkle! Um, yeah, we isn't that much down this particular pool of water. We'll have to go to a different one. I feel like this is almost unfair. Ah, well, we're hunting for a living creature anyway. There we go. We even got some magic out of it. Hey, hey, don't do that. I, I don't sympathize with those little... Well, actually, I don't know. I mean, 
Those little demon things that are electrical aren't attacking us quite like the purple ones relentlessly do, so it's not so bad, I guess. No, we cannot transform while we're underwater. And we do not have a way as a crab to attack at this point, so we can't get that particular uh, item. Dang it. Anyway. As I was saying, sexiness and cuteness. You, you know, it's kind of like, um, it's like a quadrant. You could divide it into quadrants. So, I remember I was in a class, in a politics class once where they had, um, Oh, it's a blobfish. Anyway, I remember I was in a uh, politics class, a political class once, where we uh, went on... Like, the, this class was divided up into four quadrants, and we had everyone stand where they thought their political preference was. Or... That doesn't sound right. It was something like that, though. It was, but it was like a surprise, maybe? Like, we didn't know what it was at first? And, or you could assume easily enough, but... I forget, I don't know. Hey, what's up? Oh, hi there, young lady. I'm Grandma Blobfish. Now, I'd offer to s you to sit for a spell, but I'm in a bit of a kerfuffle right now. My grandkids have run off, you see. Keeping tabs on the little rascals is like raking snakes over dry, dry cereal. Uh, right around here somewhere. Could you spare some time for an old woman? Sure. That's wonderful. Here, I've got something for you. It'll help you slice through all that grassy stuff. There are eight blobfish ki- No, there are five blobfish kids in all. Please tell them it's time to come home to Graham Graham. Can do. This is really great now that I have the ability to attack as a crab. Oh, there's nothing in this pool of water, though, is there? Okay. Fine. But there is in these pools of water. I was I haven't been able to get to it before though. Now that I can, ma'am, all your blobfish kids oh, yeah. will be safe with me. We can actually hurt these things. Though if I if I was right just there, it looked like they exploded. Which is a very strange thing for an animal to do, but you know, I suppose it's an adaptation, like it encourages other animals to not hurt them. Because if you hurt them they explode. Hmm. Is there... No, we can't... We still can't get through that barrier. It still strikes me as a bit much for a uh, crab shante to handle. But some kelp, though? No longer any problem. I'm still not sure what a sunken soul is. Maybe it'll have something to do with old, uh, Rowdy Tops. Who in life was a... Of course, you know, an ultra-cute schoolgirl girl. I guess what, uh, you know, you know, some tragic thing happened to her. Maybe she was alive before the, uh, before, you know, hundreds of years ago, back when our world was still our world. Although, who's to say? I mean, it's very possible that things like, a, you know, modern style, or really more like, like 19th or 20th century style uh, school uniforms remained in place for a long time. You know, like, it's not necessarily that just when the rest of civilization collapsed, like, normally cultural remnants of things remain around for a long time. The thing about blobfish, though, is they don't look so blobby underwater. They sort of sag like that when they're on land. I do think it's sort of funny that that's even in this game at all, though. Especially since it's kind of like a bit of an internet meme. Which might mean it doesn't date well, but I feel like that is, like, works well enough, even if you don't know about, like, famous photos of it, of a blobfish, that it, like, it could work. Like, it, I don't think it'll date the game too much. Especially since a lot of Shantae seems to be rather self-consciously goofy and corny anyway. Which isn't a bad thing. I like it. I mean, it's clearly, like, sort of the aesthetic they're going for. And an aesthetic it is, even if it is, you know, goofy. The issue is, now I'm going to have a conflict of interest. Do I give the tickets to... Well, actually, I guess Roddy Tops was the only one who wanted a ticket, wasn't she? I think she was. 
You know, Shantae must be soaking wet right now. And that's, like, really uncomfortable. Have you ever, you know, just gone around just soaking wet? It's not pleasant. Now, admittedly, she does have a lot of skin exposed anyway, so it's probably not that bad, especially since she's probably, you know, dripping with, would be dripping with sweat anyway, because she's probably very hot out. And, you know, here she is, just running around, doing all this athletic stuff. Okay. Well, oh, we have to get all monkey style. Monkey style! What's that? You found my grandkids? No. Not yet. Make sure to check me on the grassy stuff. Don't worry, Grandma Blobfish. I found your grandkids. Oh me, oh my, you found them. This makes me fit to burst with rapturous joy. I'd like to give you something in return. Let me check my creepy handbag. That's a ticket for something or other. It came in the mailbox, postage paid, so it's probably something young folks are into. Off you go now. Wait, how did you even get it, though, if you didn't order it? I'm sure these are all my actual grandkids. But if not, you're close enough, and that's what matters. Thanks. Well, we got a ticket. Um... Yeah, yeah, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna... Get picked up by a sky and go somewhere. Specifically, we're gonna go to Main Street and swim around some more. Squish! Splish! Splish! I'm a fish. Oh, they're in love with us now. That's a funny detail. Is there... Yeah, there's nothing in here we couldn't get before. Probably. I mean, it might be there's a secret we get to by climbing off screen. But I don't think there is. Guys, guys. Shut... Wow, that was dark. Those starfish things killed themselves because they knew they couldn't be together with Shantae. It's like something out of a Shakespearean Shakespearean drama. Executed here with a mermaid and a bunch of like sea creatures. You know, we've all been there. You stalk a lady for for a little while and give up and die. I mean, really, it's probably just because they're short lived. That joke might have been too dark. Did I go too, did I go too far? You know me. I always try going too far. It's what I live for. It's a lot easier to outswim them, though, when you can, you know, swim, instead of just scurry along the bottom. Excuse me, who are you? No, we can't talk to him as a mermaid. I'd have been interested in knowing what he thought. It could be something, it could be like that scene in, like, Aquaria. Hey, girl. I'm the Adventure Man. You an adventurer like me? You like games? I got a game. Here goes. Okay, guess what? Monkey butt. Now nah, that was lame. Listen. Since you made it all the way here, tell you what. I'm giving you this Vorpal Blade. I swiped it from the Azure Knight a while back. That blade is wicked Vorpal. I even dunked it in baby monkey tears to make it even more Vorpal. So Vorpal it hurts. I have no idea what good this is, but um, I guess you use it to kill a Jabberwock. What an adventure that was. For you, probably. Yeah, I don't know why you're here, but you see around Adventure Man. He's probably an adv a reference to some other thing. Like he's in some other video game somewhere that somebody made. But not this one. Probably something like that. I was really hoping for another heart container. Or whatever they call them in this game. I call them heart containers. Sorry, I didn't mean to kill you girls. Are those gator steaks for us? Order up. Oh man, this is one succulent slice of gator. Melts in your mouth. What do we owe you? Oh right, that extra race ticket. Here you are then. Okay, now we got both of them. 
Great. See you around. Bye bye. You sure? So about that secret mission. Shh, she's back. Act natural. Yeah, the Ammo Baron totally sent them here to spy on us before he blows up the town. Oh yeah, race tickets. Did you get two of them? Yes. What a pal. As promised here. Oh wow, this is just what Uncle was looking for. What are you doing here with a shard of dark magic anyway? Don't ask. Say, why don't you join us? You could meet Abner, Poe, and me at the raceway. No thanks, Rowdy Tops. It's been a busy day. Come on, gotta enjoy life while we still can, right? I'll think about it. Right now, I have to get this shard to Uncle. I don't know, I mean... Eh, I, th I think... I think you clearly show that you can enjoy life even after you're dead. Any luck finding a dark shard? You're back so soon, and with the Dark Shard, no less. You're not still worried, are you? There's really nothing to worry about as long as the magic is kept in proper balance. Oh, so we have to... We have to say... Okay, I see. Our options are to say I'm worried. I, I, okay, fine. Nope, here. The Shard goes on top, see? Just like that. Two more components and our worries will be over. Eh? What now? Who's this guy? Can you keep a secret? No. A heist? Shh! I was working under a vehicle so they never saw me. But I heard the whole thing. It's going to happen at Cape Crustacean during today's big race. If they find out who squealed on the dead man, I was never here. Cape Crustacean! That's where the annual magic carpet races are held! An act of foul play could put hundreds of innocent spectators at risk! Here, a map to Cape Crustacean! Thanks, Uncle. Uh, good luck with your machine. I'm off to the races. Guess we are gonna meet uh, Abner, Poe, and Roddy Tops there after all. Smash! Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, we have plenty of healing items. Plenty of them. Uh, what else do we have? Can we buy more shampoo? Or a better shampoo, I guess I should say. Yeah, we can. You're welcome. You know, it's odd that Shantae's trousers kind of leave... I mean, it's practically like she's wearing a bikini, but with, like, loose leggings attached to the, um, uh, to the bottom. It's kind of weird. Well, anyway. A uh, bathhouse. Item shop. We already passed by Sky's place, didn't we? There's Sky's place. Sky, I need to get to Cape Crustacean quickly. Magic carpet races? What for? I'll explain on the way. Ready to lift off? You know, I've noticed that even when they're not worried, they're still like they're and their pictures of them are moving up and down slightly. I suppose to represent breathing. Okay, climb aboard. They're all so shiny and midriff bearing. It's adorable. Cape Crustacean does not look like a cape. Oh well. I like how it's sort of like their bird, like, wrench just smashes into it. The sound effect, you know, you go to the island, it's like, boom. And you know, all these people were knocking off, you know, they have stories too. They're the hero of their own story, just like we all are. Everybody's the hero of his or her own story. Or there, because English does should have a gender neutral pronoun and it should be there. <laughs> <laughs>